Islam, Dwayne Bathel Bay, Islam, and good morning. Um, it is November the 17th, 2018. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. And as you know, um, lately I don't work on Saturday. So anyway, um, it's approximately, I think it's, a, um, it's, it's approximately, I think like 12 p.m. I'm not sure. So I should say good afternoon. I'm going on 12 p.m. Anyway, just um, wash my locks. <laughs> Feel good. I'm about to lock them. You know, really just um, take that, that the energy, good energy, and just lock these locks. Anyway, I'm Rhonda Arrington Hyphen Bay. You know this. But I like to say my name as I um, do the um, video to you. And um, so the first thing I wanted to say is um, understanding spirit um, this morning. Um, I was um, thinking about how, um, oh, let me say this. I haven't wore my national headdress um, with the Moorish pin. Sometimes I would put the pin on, sometimes I don't. But usually I would try to wear my national my Moorish American national headdress, um, walking to work and leaving work. But I haven't worn it in about three months, um, approximately, because um, I misplaced the wrap and I have to go to a fabric store, find a fabric store and get another um, wrap. It was a white one, so I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do that. But that's the only reason why I haven't worn my Moorish American national headdress. Imani still wear his um, and he still, um, and he's, um, he's, he wear his to work and he wear his usually back and forth to work. So me, myself, I have to purchase another one. It's been approximately three months. Okay. So, um, another thing I wanted to tell you, um, I've been thinking about spirit and how, um, this change of enlightenment in reference to spirit is, um, happening. And I was thinking about uh, some of the ancient elements of um, that we are, um, or I am, learning how to um, harmonize with or um, give appreciation to, and um, that gives life. And one of the words that came to me was air, wind, the holy breath. I was thinking ancient. What is, you know, holy breath? Because I was like, how long has this air... Hold on one second. Oh, excuse me. Okay, I'll put this here. I'm just, um, we have cups um, that we um, take back from um, our job. So I'm using it to drink. Not trying to advertise. <laughs> Throw <Broke> in. <laughs> So I was thinking how long, um, I'm not trying to advertise Burkin, I was using the cup to drink. I was wondering how long has it been um, since, um, I mean, time never was when man was not, right? And according to Holy Crown Circle 7. And so this air, which is ancient, um, ancient air, the holy breath, we go outside, um, how long can we go without breathing? Not very long. Um, they, um, probably, um, some people can hold their breath up to possibly approximately five minutes at the most trained professionals, you know, um, maybe longer than that, but they train themselves or, um, but how long can we go without breathing? So I was thinking air, the wind, there's a spirit in wind, spirit in the air. You know, it's very ancient, and and um, in reference to air and how um, water comes about, there's a spirit in water, spirit in fire, spirit in Mother Earth, the universe. So we are the spirit. Life is spirit, and, and anyway, I was just thinking about um, how an unclean spirit that um, is obviously because if if time never was when man was not and this energy of freedom has been around um since time since the beginning of time and there has never been a time there was there that that energy of freedom freedom love that spirit has not been here then um uh, this demonstrates when i hear uh, it's like 
um hearing when i hear the unclean spirits yell bondage there's a spirit in bondage that's an unclean spirit in bondage pay that's an unclean spirit very unclean filthy unclean spirit so um i was just uh, sort of wondering how you know i was looking at the um different like attacks on the ancient energy the ancient spirits of um the universe and you know how you look in the sky Dwayne, and you see these like um i don't know what they are um people will call them chemtrails or whatever and they're just sort of going out slowly and they sit there for a very very long time i i see that in my thoughts you know i see that as an attack of it on on wind which is a spirit which is which is in um connection to um mother earth the universe so you have you have people you know uh that are able to afford um uh, trying to keep their, their air clean they they are doing whatever they can having um technology or, or some type of gadget on their nose and face trying to keep the air clean Michael Jackson, he was sleeping in a bubble. They said he, at least that's what was on t on the news, or they was um trying. They were telling um the um world that he was actually in some type of bubble, trying to protect himself or have clean air. Then I think about water. I was I was thinking now, you have um, um water that's in the bottle because they um. When you, um, when scientists do, um, or just average person who has um, some type of scientific knowledge, do a test on water, see all these chemicals and um, um, th uh, elements or whatever or things that are in the water that's not so, that that is um, um, foreign to the water. Okay, so and as a as i a divine spirit drink the water which which the water is naturally clean where are these chemicals coming from what what where are they coming from and and so you have you know you have um many people drinking water out the plastic bottles and they they just trying to they like no nah, i don't want faucet water i don't want faucet water just give me regular water i mean give me a bottle of water so they why are they trying to do on um, drink bottled water because it's been um, now the thought is out there that um, water is unclean coming from the faucet. So, and then you have those that have just a little bit of scientific knowledge doing tests and proving that this is true. So I see that in an unclean spirit that is able to do that is um, an attack. That's an, a definitely a direct attack on the spirit of water. Water. And then there's other attacks I see on spirit of, of the spirit of earth. So um, those are my thoughts this morning. Um, and anyway, I want to continue and then I'm going to probably. Oh, Dwayne, you know something I noticed in reference to my spirit and who I am. Um, and trying to um, keep my thoughts sacred, keep my higher self sacred and value it. Um, I can tell when unclean spirits are engaging. Most of, most of the time, they seem to be look to be um, some um, form or look to be under the status of that black of black African American male. I I can actually like I could just be sitting stand, sitting here, okay, and all of a sudden a male who on the physical on the fleshy eye, okay, because when you're dealing with spirit, Dwayne, uh, spirit comes um in a on a flesh I, a person a woman or a female or male they look very attractive according to what you find attractive you know what they advertise on tv and the magazines um very attractive maybe buff you know no no scars flawless skin hair naturally beautiful don't need any makeup but spirit unclean so unclean so um i can tell I could just like maybe be in a grocery store and um, a black male will walk by me and he might on the fleshy eye with the fleshy eye look to be attractive and I'm just you know all of a sudden I might feel like my like first of all my, for my eyes to glance that way if con unconsciously I might not catch it but consciously now that I know 
I'm, 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 I'm watching my body movement. Now just imagine a black male walk by. My eyes follow. Then all of a sudden I see my lips start to move like a smile. Or I feel a presence like, I, like an emotion, like I like it, like this. You know, I shine my light. It's like I put a, I shine my bright light. And after I shine my light, literally I see a spirit that looked to be similar to that which walked by or some or uh, or another energy that looked to be um black african american male like actually pop out like um pop out of me in um what you want to say um um just vanish and then my whole energy goes back to its natural form so when the then the um the black man might walk in front of me again i'm like you know, I don't, I'm not feeling no presence. I'm not, I mean, no energy or attraction. So this is what I see, um, what unclean spirits use another tactic to, um, to, um, cause this is a, cause this is dealing with spiritual warfare to, um, breed. This is a breeding tactic. And in that breeding tactic, because when you have to do something like that to cause deceit, and then you have unclean spirit saying we paid that is a unclean spirit that there's an unclean spirit in bondage so in that that's think of breeding and having babies or little ones okay in that spirit of bondage and in that line and in knowing through prophecy consciously there is an enlightenment of healing cleansing that is happening so um this is definitely um i don't see how this is in correlation because you can only serve one god allah and it's plain to see that allah is definitely a high frequency of freedom love true peace freedom and just i mean justice i said freedom twice so um, sometimes you it, you know it, it's it's not even it's not complex to see um to see the tactics and definitely this is a um a, a, a spiritual war so it's not complex it's not um you know it's 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 not um difficult to figure out especially when you know that um if the holy bible is giving in the quran and other um spiritual texts that are speaking of us divine energies divine spirits giving us a blueprint of what is to come and how we need to conduct ourselves and prepare ourselves then you know that which is unclean have studied these texts as well and and if they have gone through this extreme to, to breed something that is so opposite, so opposite of a divine spirit that they have to use a form of trickery to this extreme, you know they have a study and I'm um, trying to um, stop this flow any means necessary. I mean, they, so anyway, that's why I gave a, um, at the beginning of this video, Dwayne, that's why I, um, I'm possibly, I'm thinking about the thoughts of the attack on the spirit of wind the spirit of water because this is spiritual attacks on spirit of mother earth the universe so those are my thoughts um anyway um yesterday um i received this um uh, this um reward from the manager the owner of burger king her name is janelle and she signed it at the bottom i don't know if you can see hopefully you can let's see here yeah you might yeah you might can see bring it over yep there it is and this is the ward you might see my name <laughs> yeah she gave me a $25 check and it's because um I got so many good reviews from customers um yes last week just last week someone wanted to give me a customer he wanted to give me a ten dollar tip many customers offer to give me tips and i'm like i don't sell i don't accept tips yeah any kind but you can call in 
or speak to my manager and give me a good compliment and that's that's more than enough that is that is priceless okay so anyway yesterday the owner Birkin gave me this reward and a $25 check so I felt really good about this I think I told you this um, in the first yesterday video I know I did so what, what I did different with this reward was first of all I added my hyphen bay to my name all right because it shows on my check stub um, um, but it does not show on um, like for instance my tax return because I'm still in the process of correcting my status as a Moorish American also I added um, naturalization here okay I wrote um, these are the energies that I put around this reward I put um, President Abraham Lincoln um, amnesty and reconstruction November, um, December the 8th, 1863. The, that is um, um, naturalization, a form of naturalization um, under those proclamations of freedom because he um, had four proclamations, as I learned, through Moorish American National Public. And um, also, I put uh, to be naturalized is important um, and uphold the U.S.A. Constitution and all that um, all the amendments that come with it and also including um, the Articles of Confederation, Articles Association, Declaration of Independence. Also I put um, President Abraham Lincoln's 13th Amendment with 20 sections at the top. If you can see that. It was ratified November 18, 1865 by three-fourths of the several states. Around my wonderful reward from Burger King. And um, I put um, Revelations here, okay, Revelations, uh, chapter 12, verse 11 and 12, um, the Holy Bible in this country, Northwest of Mexico, was made public law October 4th, 1982. So that means a lot. That means that the Holy Bible has substance. So I put Revelations chapter 12, verse 11 and 12. Um, also, I, at the bottom, I put, um, uh, uh, these are all divine energies, because these all represent that divine spirit of freedom, Islam, freedom and, um, getting able to give testimony. I also put, at the bottom, um, Moorish bylaws, Moorish American bylaws at six. I don't know if you can see that. I always misspelled bylaw, so I hope I didn't this time. At six, because um, that is um, a form of naturalization. And it felt good. And so I, I put this um, wonderful, loving energy around this reward that I received from Burger King that I know is well deserved. It feels good to earn money while I, while I continue to correct my status. Along with my Sunny Money Great Hyphen Bay, we are earning money as we continue to correct our status by alerting different government agencies of our change in status. So um, it feels good. It really does. Um, you know, and I once again, I added my hyphen bay. Okay. So it feels good. I just wanted to say that... Um, Let's see. And so far, um, Friday, you know, I did my normal work. Um, swept my, I gave great. I, I felt like I, I kept my thoughts really good. Uh, some of the chants I do is El Caduce. Um, even when I felt um, maybe a negative energy or whatever, um, I still kept good thoughts. I try to keep my, well, I tried to, and I tried to keep my energy up, put that energy out there, because um, uh, laws of attraction, right? And I, and I don't want my vibration to um decrease i want my frequency to rise all right rise because um i don't want it rise right because i um i don't want um my frequency um because usually when a unclean spirit or a energy that is um not all the time um whether it's unconsciously or consciously um trying to attack it is deliberately trying to lower the frequency okay lower the frequency lower my frequency which lowering my frequency i'm connected to the spirit of mother earth and the universe 
So that is not just only attack on me, but that's on on attack on the entire environment, Islam. So by me not returning any negativity back is is uh, in focusing on the higher polarity. It helps. I know I'm contributing to raising in that higher frequency because that which is unclean would not be able to exist in a high frequency environment. They, they will not be able to. And that's the connection I see why this is so important for them to lower the frequency of divine energies, divine souls, spirits. Lower them, you know, so that they can still coexist and be like um, succubus, incubus, um, sucking just, just uh, parasites, parasites upon the environment upon the earth so and um causing havoc that's this is dealing with spiritually um that's it um oh well thursday um i worked later than usual at burger king and um i remember um i was like um I, you know um one of the co-workers um this is it uh this is not um, bad or anything but you know she was um her name is gloria and um dwayne about the bay and she was like, um, you know, we were working late. Um, um, I usually get off at three, but I stayed until four. And uh, she called me baby. She said, thank you, baby, or something like that as we were working. And I was like, uh, Gloria, um, please don't call me baby. Uh, my name is Rhonda. Don't call me baby. And um, she was like, uh, she got offended, it seemed like. And she was like, I'm just saying it to you as a friend. I said, Gloria, I'm not trying to be your friend like that. I'm just I'm I'm not trying to be your friend like that. And she's like, oh, excuse me. I have never implied I have never had a conversation with anyone on a personal level that I work with at Burger King on that implied that I'm trying to be a friend in that way with any female any uh, female or male. Just I try to keep a very respectful energy with everyone, you know, because I'm thankful to be earning money, and <laughs> I am. And this, I mean, I shows, which makes me feel so good, that I am trying to. Because um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful and grateful to be earning money as I correct my status. But um, that does not mean I have to um, engage on a personal level with those that are around me. But just keep a respectful energy. And she did seem to get um, irritated. But she, um, she's the lady that um, was cursing one time. And, um, one time, and I had to tell the manager, she seemed like, she she was I she one day I was talking to another coworker about a mop and she just interrupted the conversation and she started talking inside the, the, with with the conversation and she was upset about she seemed to be upset then she just blurted out about it sounded like he she said he wanted f u c k that's what's up that's what he she just said she was like yeah that's what's up he wanted f u c k that's what's up to me I was like what is she talking about. Who is she talking about? Cause I don't know her. I have I don't know her. I was and she was and she was upset. Now she's um she, she's she looks to be older than me, but I'm not sure. And she would be considered status black or African American. So I told the manager Phyllis. I you know I told her exactly what happened about what I what I heard, and um I thought I heard and I said I I, I was I'm like I'm so surprised to even hear that. So I'm questioning it. And um, I just asked Miss Phyllis to let her know to please don't curse when she speaks to me because I don't I have never cursed to her curse or use curse words when I um, address her. I've always tried to be respectful, so I didn't understand what who she was talking about wanting to f u c k, and why was she saying it to me? If and I'm still living in doubt, but that's exactly what she said, and because uh, she was definitely upset, so I didn't know what she was talking about. I don't know where where it came from, but anyway. Um, so that 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 would that would be my testimony um, in that case and um, that's it but she seemed to be after I told her that um, I just sort of um, I ended up getting off the clock soon later and, and I left it was like maybe five minutes after um, this was Thursday so the day is the uh, 17th yesterday was the 16th uh, 15th it was Thursday on the 15th um, you know I said Gloria please you know don't call me baby you know and I always, I said, I always call you Gloria. My name is Rhonda. You know, I, 
she and she said something about being a friend i said i'm, I'm not your friend okay <laughs> so anyway that's it i'll talk to you later um uh, that's it and um the way about the day and i need to, i'm gonna work on these locks for the next three to four days okay <laughs>